What's going on guys? Welcome back to 863 Bassin. I just got a nice little package from Six Cents. So, I went on Six Cents fishing.com and the new juggle just came out so i ordered a few of almost every single color and a couple different things that are on the website that i personally don't have or a restock of stuff i did have and i lost or etc so let's break into this box right there find out what we got but before we begin if you are new to the channel thank you so much for clicking on this video make sure you drop this video a big like drop me a comment and if you would consider subscribing i would greatly appreciate it let's keep on riding this thing as far as it will go i would like to see us at 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year and if you guys can help do that by sharing videos to your social media page, telling your family, telling your friends, telling your grandma, show your dog, whatever helps. But again, if you are also new to the channel, every single video I drop, I'm going to pick one random person who drops me a comment, likes this video, and is subscribed. And this video's giveaway is going to be a brand new Six Cents Slice. And that is in Spanish Pearl. Gorgeous blade bait, brand new. I have thrown these around. They have incredible action. They actually have three different spots right here on the back that you can rig it. And it will actually retrieve three different ways. It'll have a tighter, it'll have a more straight, and then it'll have a more of a wobble to it. So. You have three options right there, depending on how the fish want this thing retrieved. That slice is an awesome bait for pretty much any angler all year. But these things definitely excel around the colder water months. And of course, everyone that uses my codes, like the Super Six Sack code, 863 Bass and Six Sack, that'll save you money off your first sack. Every time you use my code, I'll throw in some kind of free bait. It could be a hard bait, could be a soft bait. I do the same with every purchase of my hat. So I have a lot of different ways I can give back to you guys. I truly appreciate all the support that we get over here. <laughs> yes, we got some goodies in here. All right, guys, well, if you guys are new to the unboxing over here, I unbox stuff, and I give you a close-up of it. And, uh, yeah, so let's get into a couple of these things that I've got. I ordered a bunch of the Six Cents Flush Baits. These are your basic fluke-style bait. You put these things on Carolina rigs, weightless Texas rig, throw it out there. Twitch it, let it sink. Twitch it, let it sink. These things are phenomenal. White is one of my go-to colors. I also got it in green pumpkin juice, which is a beautiful color. It is green pumpkin with blue, gold, silver flake in it. Awesome color. We got another one. We got baby bluegill pumpkin on top and an orange on the bottom and one of my all-time favorite colors when it's really clear water and it's on a sunny day you can pull it out on pretty much any time of day is the bluegill magic color all right there bluegill magic this is a black and blue on top green pumpkin with some flake in there on the bottom. I'm gonna rip one of these open so you guys can see it up close. Don't let me forget to mention that all of these come in these nice clamshells. So all your baits come nice and straight. They're not having bent tails. So they are going to retrieve back to you the way they were intended to be, intended they were made to be. 
so just a little bonus there they're not just thrown in a random bag zipped on top and sent out to the store now this is it right here great side fins on there nice big fin on top and this is just an awesome color now what's unique about this is the tail it has that nice little ball right here in the back what that's going to do is allow that water to really take control of that tail and make it go crazy in the water now what is different also about these compared to the competition is they have that big old belly slot like your standard fluke style soft plastic jerk bait there's actually a spot right on top i don't know how well the camera's going to get it but right on that fin on top you can actually bury your hook into the fin on top which makes this thing extremely weedless and it increases the longevity of the plastic because you are not skin hooking it on top you are really hiding that hook point inside that fin on top whoa crap we got a few packs of these to uh refill the kayak because uh i burned through all of them next up is a little green velvet sack olive green yellow drawstrings what did they put in here i bet this is full of a whole bunch of hooks and weights and a whole bunch of other stuff that we need to go through first up is the titanium fishing line scissors these scissors right here are one of my favorite these things literally cut through 65 pound braid without even trying i have these attached to me to the kayak to the boat to the bag extra one in my truck every time they're in stock i buy one or two pairs even i'll get some extras to hang them up on my overflow wall but if you're on the six cents fishing website pick up some of these scissors don't buy those cheapo ones you cannot beat the price and the quality of these trust me we got some peg stoppers i don't know how much i need to explain about some peg stoppers but here in florida we do a lot of flipping so i want to keep that weight pegged to the top of my hook so it does not slide when i'm going in and out of timber heavy grass heavy cover whatnot and we got one we got two we got three of my favorite size hooks which is the four ot stout wide gap hook it's your standard ewg but these things are extremely stout and they do not bend out so i always keep those in stock and i just picked up some of their 3 16th ounce which is also my favorite weight i throw on a texas rig 3 16th ounce little lead bullet weights because you never could have enough terminal tackle so i always pick that stuff up every time i order i pick up hooks i pick up weights i look for the scissors i get some bobber stoppers that way i know my terminal tackle box is always full the divine umbrella rigs if you guys have not seen these yet these bad boys just released on the website not too long ago and i picked them up in spanish pearl color look at the paint job on that white with that bronze color around the eyes can't get more natural than that french Spanish bone pearl color. These ones actually come with a swivel attached to the head where you tie your line because a lot of big, a lot of other brands, I should say, like to line twist a lot, especially when you're catching fish. Those fish are fighting that umbrella rig is just spinning, twisting your line. Well, they fixed that problem. They built a nice little swivel right there. Now this is the 6.5 inch wired umbrella rig you're gonna see some uh, good content coming on these and of course i picked up two of them 
in that same exact color as my favorite color. So always pick up two. Every time you buy tackle, you always buy two. You never know when it's gonna sell out, when it's gonna be a mind blowing color for you. J just don't buy one because by the time you buy that one, they're all gonna be sold out. So you might as well have a backup, even if you just keep it in your garage and storage in your boat or something. Buy two, rule of thumb, trust me. Speaking of two, we have something that I've been waiting for forever, forever. And I bought one and I went out and I caught fish on it and then I lost it. I got hooked to the bottom and they've been sold out forever so i should have bought more yes but i bought two remember two is a uh, magic number of this video i bought the gyro or gyro or gyro i got no idea but it is a tail spinner these little dudes are like three fourth ounce. They are tiny, they're only two inches. But it is one big old head on there, a treble on the bottom, and a little spinning spoon right there on the back. And these little things make bottom contact. You basically slow burn these things along the bottom and I'll tell you, they catch fish. I went out with this exact color. This is Jaint Juice, right there on the back. I know you guys can see that. Come on, camera. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Anyway, that is Jaint Juice. One of my favorite colors. I love white, I love purple, I love chartreuse. I love the red eyes in there. So I picked up two of them. Hopefully they don't sell out so I can buy more. By the time I make this video, they're probably sold out, and I'll be very angry when I go over there and look. But I picked two of two of these up. If you go back a couple videos on my channel, I posted a video when I went out and I fished the gyro, and it catches quality fish. We're just gonna grab handfuls out of here. I'm talking about handfuls of soft plastics. Don't go anywhere on me, stay here. All right, so we got the Juggle Minnow four inch, and I picked up almost every single one of the colors over there on the website. It is basically, what it reminds me of is a close flush in a sense, but a little bit smaller more of a rounded body to it. It does not have that top fin, but it has a nice little bottom fin on there. I don't know if you guys can see that, a little bottom fin on there. But it has the same style tail where it has a nice little ball right there. And it makes that tail just go crazy. It is great for a drop shot, which is primarily what I'm gonna use this for is a drop shot, back of a divine swim jig, a chatter bait, even a spinner bait. It's coming soon. So these little baits right here are gonna be so versatile. That color was in pumpkin pearl. We got some rose minnow, which is basically with the lighting is really hard to see. And I apologize for that. It is a pink with a translucent white on the bottom with some nice rose gold, a little bit of green flake in there. Definitely a unique color, a color that I normally don't throw. That's why I picked them up. I'm not big on uh, throwing pink colors as much. I've seen people whoop me on the boat before throwing those pink trick worms. But uh, I figured I'd give them a shot. I got maybe two of them, maybe more. But here's another fire color right here. All right, there is 4K bluegill. Let's pop that bad boy open. All right, here you go. Nice little color. That is 4K bluegill. 
Now most of these colors are pretty translucent because these baits are primarily going to be trailers or drop shots. And when I throw a drop shot, I'm normally throwing drop shot in more of the clearish water because it's not a rig that displaces a lot of water. It's more of a visual bait. So a lot of these will work excellent for the drop shot. And we got a coral minnow, one of my favorite colors, Spanish pearl. You can gladly throw these on the Alabama rig. You get five of these little bad boys, rig them on their own jig head, toss these things around, burn it. Slow roll, these things are gonna do excellent. You guys already know, green pumpkin is gonna catch them anywhere. So that white, that green pumpkin, you can tell how translucent that is. Green pumpkin's not as translucent, which is awesome. You could throw this in more of a stained watercolor as well. As soon as, as, as yeah, I can't talk apparently, as well as that Spanish pearl. So these are two great colors that'll catch fish anywhere, white and green pumpkin. So that green pumpkin is gonna be a more of my natural color. Coral minnow, so that's two coral minnows. After that, we have melon minnow. This is a unique color as well. Now I might take all these out into the sun so you guys can see how gorgeous these colors are. And most of these colors are so hard to explain. Gorgeous color, another shad imitation, especially on a sunny day. Another Spanish pearl, another Spanish pearl. I stock up on white and green pumpkin, I'll tell you that. We have another melon minnow, 4K bluegill, Pumpkin seed sunfish. Here's a different color you guys haven't seen yet. Now this color, oh, I grabbed two of the little suckers. I just wanna get out of the package and go fishing. This right here is like a green pumpkin on top, watermelon-ish with that orange belly. So if you guys are looking for a nice orange color, bluegill color, sunfish, this color right here would be awesome. Green pumpkin. another pumpkin seed sunfish and another pumpkin pearl and we got two bags of the black and blue clout 5.4s this is the stick bait from six cents fishing and we also got my favorite color that i broke so many pbs on is the green pumpkin juice color this green pumpkin and it has about a trillion flakes in it and a clout is a great worm that you can Texas rig, you can wacky rig, you can Nico rig, you can rig this thing up any way you want. And hiding way in the back of the box are two Divine Umbrella Rig jig heads. And these are 1 8 ounce. They are 3 out hooks and these are designed to go on to the Umbrella Rig. So they have a whole bunch of jig heads over there, but they have specially designed these ones to go on the umbrella rig. So when you're over there picking up some umbrella rigs, make sure you pick up the jig heads that go with them. So like I said, I'm gonna show you these juggles in the sun. So if you haven't seen what four inches look like in the sun, I'm about to show you. Well, overcast and raining, but Ooh, those colors are gorgeous. All right, y'all. Well, I got some cleaning to do, some organizing. And I'm going to start preparing myself to go fishing. So if you guys like this video, if you guys made it all, all the way to the end, I appreciate every single one of you guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. I appreciate it. Drop me a comment. Do all three, and you'll be entered into this video's giveaway for that splice. And if you want to pick up any of the items that you saw or anything they sell over on Six Cents Fishing, you can use my discount code 863BASSIN10. That is 863BASSIN, B-A-S-S-I-N, 10, at checkout. 
and it'll save you 10% off your purchase over there on the website. Everything is down in the description of this video. I appreciate you guys. If you want to enter into my 1,000 subscriber giveaway, it is still going on. It is like three videos back from this one. Go over there, follow the rules, get entered. Till next time, guys, go out there and enjoy that grind.